Do you really need hardcore or track performance coilovers? Or are a set of comfort coilovers enough to put a smile on your face? Stick around, because in this episode, I'm gonna help you make that decision. Welcome to another episode of MDTV, proudly supported by MCA Suspension. It's pretty hard shopping for coilover these days. Well, there are so many variations and there are so many variables that we got to consider because the last thing you want to do is buy something that you don't like or something that is very uncomfortable on your bum. We're quite often presented with a few variations or a few different types of coilovers. I've only just had this new set of MCA Pro Sport coilovers in the car for a little over two months. But in this episode, I want to rip them out, install a set of MCA Pro Comforts to find out what the real world differences are between a set of coilovers that are more sport and track oriented versus a set of coilovers that are more comfort biased and more acceptable on the road. Hopefully this video helps you make that decision. Over here, I've got a set of MCA Pro Comfort these are supposedly a lot more comfortable than the pro sports that i've got and apparently still handles pretty well from what i hear before i put this in my car let's go for a drive i want to tell you what it's like living with a set of mca pro sports for the last two and a bit months now i'm deep within the royal national park it's the first time i'm at these twisty roads with the pro sport and the car it feels very planted, it feels very smooth, it feels very nimble, and it feels bloody comfortable. I don't know how something this sporty can feel this comfortable. And I don't know how coilovers can get more comfortable than this. And apparently, that's what the Pro Comfort does. This set of coilovers, the Pro Sports, feels very sporty. But it doesn't feel like I'm compromising on any comfort at all. It is worlds better than the stock suspension. It's worlds better than the first set of coilovers that I had. And yet the car feels lighter. It feels nimble. It feels very agile in comparison to the previous setup that I had, comparison to the stock suspension. Like these are designed to feel very sporty and it's supposed to be firm. I don't think it's firm at all. I think it's quite comfortable. So I wonder, one, how much more comfortable it's gonna be on the Pro Comfort, and two, how much handling and how much performance are we going to be compromising when we move from the pro sports down to the pro comfort which is supposed to be a little bit more tame and a little bit more compliant compared to the pro sport at the way this thing just sticks when i throw it around the corner it's you know there's really nothing to complain about it's so bloody nice we're going around a bend all right and that that bend that turn just then had some sort of camber as well it wasn't flat turning with some camber in the road and that's freaking crazy it's cars all wheel drive so it already does pretty well there's a lot of mechanical grip already but these coilovers increases it so much more it makes the car feel infinitely better infinitely more comfortable so uh, i'm really keen to see how much more comfortable pro comforts are but yeah like i said i'm also wondering how much performance or how much handling i'll lose out moving from the pro sports to the pro comforts now that we're back i want to pull out those coilovers and i'm going to throw in the mca pro comforts we're also going to have a look at the physical differences and i'll tell you about the technical differences between the pro sports and the pro comforts let's go now this video is not going to be one of those instructional videos where i show you how to install coilovers because there's so many videos and so many resources for that already rather i'm trying to help you make a decision on what coilovers you should buy whether it be track sports or comfort coilovers so in the box Obviously, you get a set of MCA Pro Comforts. I've already unboxed my Pro Sports and this unboxing experience is exactly the same. You get an information pack and again, these are designed and made to order in-house. So it is locally made and there's great support from MCA themselves. There is all the specifications and you'll notice that at the front it's 7K and at the rear it's 4.5K. So apparently, this is supposed to be a lot more comfortable. but. We'll see. Also get this bag, C-spanner, and a whole bunch of camber washers to replace the camber bolts. A tool to fit a base for the bolt. More details of the contents of this bag in my previous video with MCA. 
when I installed a set of MCA Pro Sports a bit over two months ago. I also tested out these MCA suspension boot covers. I put two of them on the right side and then on the left side, I left that uncovered. There's a lot of debris, dirt and grime on the roads. And when you're driving, it just kicks up everywhere, especially when it rains. It's very dirty and you get a lot of debris stuck in your coilover suspension. It is recommended that every two to three years or every 20 to 30,000 kilometers, you have your coilover suspension inspected and serviced. But to help maintain or to help protect your coilover suspension, MCA do sell a set of these boot covers. And after two and a half months on the road, let's see how well they work. On this side, I've driven that duration uncovered. They've been through all sorts of conditions. And if you have a close look at this one that's been uncovered, very dirty. And these rocks, they get stuck in the thread. So it makes it very hard for you to adjust your coilovers. Let's unwrap that one. Wow. So between the MCA Pro Comforts and the MCA Pro Sport, visually, there's not much difference. They both look very, very similar. The differences are all internal and like i said the springs on this at the front are 7k at the back it's four and a half here front and back with the pro sports it's nine and nine front and back so the valving technology in this is a lot more compliant than this but the pro sports are already so comfortable i'm keen to see how the pro comforts do it even better the pro sports have been an absolute pleasure to drive with they're some of the best all-round coilovers offering a high level of spirited driving which is also suitable for motor use, all while being quite comfortable. They're firm but forgiving on the road and feel very sporty. The Pro Sports have a larger range of height adjustment compared to the Pro Comforts. The Pro Comforts, on the other hand, are designed with comfort in mind. Not only are the spring rates much softer than the Pro Sports, but the valving system has been manufactured to optimize comfort. In the case of a linear spring with a spring rate of 8K, it takes 8 kilograms of applied force to compress the spring by 1 millimeter. However, spring rates are only part of the story. The build quality and valving technology also work in tandem to produce an exceptional ride quality, which MCA have developed over the last few decades. Each set of MCA coilovers come with 3 years warranty, which covers you on the track as well. And that is absolutely brilliant. So as you can see on this side, it's very, very dirty from all that grime and dirt from the road. Even on the one that's covered underneath the cover, that's so dirty. But if I undo that, oh mama, that is like you. So good. So these MCA dust boots or boot covers, definitely worth it and definitely do their job really well. Just come out of the swimming pool on my way to work, daily commute which is what I use this car for mostly. It's my daily driver. So comfort to me is a pretty big thing. And most people don't buy more than one car. Most people drive their sports car as a daily driver. So I would gather that for most people, comfort is a top priority. I often see in the forums or in my DMs, people asking me about comfort and coilovers. And a lot of people consider getting a set of lowering springs rather than coilovers because they're scared they're gonna compromise on a lot of comfort when they go to coilovers. But I can gladly say that since putting on the MCA Pro Comforts that this car has never felt this comfortable. The Pro Sports that I last installed, I thought felt bloody amazing. I thought the car was very composed. I thought it was acceptably firm. I didn't think it was harsh. It felt very sporty and also very comfortable, especially for a set of coilovers that are performance biased. The comfort with that set was bloody amazing. And I thought for coilovers, it couldn't get any more comfortable than that. But I was wrong. These MCA Pro Comforts, my gosh so much more comfortable. I've been on a few night trips. I've taken my friends out sitting in the back, taken my girlfriend out sitting at the front here, and there's been no complaints. The car is even more comfortable than what I had with the Pro Sports. And I've taken this on a few spirited drives as well, and you do feel the difference. You do feel the difference between the Pro Comfort and the Pro Sport. Not only are the spring rates in the springs different, the internal valving is different as well. And the internal valving system on the Pro Comfort are a lot more compliant and a lot more soft compared to the Pro Sports. And how do I know that? Well, I've set the damping settings at the front and rear to the same level that I set on my Pro Sports. Seven at the front, three or four at the rear, and even at the same level of damping. Oh, I just gotta take this turn carefully. Even at the same level of damping, even at the same level of damping, 
the Pro Comforts are so much softer and so much more compliant and so much more comfortable compared to the Pro Sports. Not to say that this doesn't handle well because it still handles very well, especially if you don't take your car to the track, you're just doing some mountain drives and just daily driving, the perfect set. You don't need anything more. Although it handles well, it doesn't feel as sporty as the Pro Sports. When you get in the car with the Pro Sports, you feel like the car is ready. The car wants you to drive it fast. You feel like you just want to chuck it around a corner or punch it on the exit of a corner. But for this, it feels like it is there, but it's not as sporty as the Pro Sports. You do feel a little bit more body roll at the same settings, but it's still very acceptable. It's not too soft. It's still a great performing set of coilovers. And even though it is softer than the Pro Sports at the same setting, there is still room to stiffen it up even more. So which coilovers should you buy? Performance biased coilovers, or should you just go for a set of comfort biased coilovers? I reckon you should just go for the comfort ones. But if you are going to the track regularly, like once a month, once every few weeks, yeah, probably go for the Pro Sports. But for the majority of people, you can save a bit of money, go for a, a set of comfort bias coilovers, MCA Pro Comfort. It's bloody amazing, but no complaints. If you're wondering which set I'm gonna keep in my car, it's probably gonna be the Pro Comforts. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks to MCA for supporting the channel as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.